Listen, we, we watched Seth's breakdown of Elden Ring. But I got to see Max Sword do it. I've been waiting for this. I asked for this. God answer my prayers. Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chill in Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. It's good, Holla Squad. We are the Little Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back. All right? The best gaming commentary I have heard in my life has come from Max Sword. All right? There's no cap in my rap. All right? If it's better out there, I ain't heard it yet. But he did Elden Ring, the game that I speed uninstalled. I hold the world record for the person to uninstall the game the fastest. Check Guinness Book of World Records. It's true. But I told y'all I'm going to redo it. Apparently, I skipped the tutorial. Y'all know the story. But we about to see an incorrect summary of Elden Ring Part 1. Oh, man. My boy, he about to spoil us. Let's get it. Hey guys, welcome to my <laughs> Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Ring, or as I like to call it, Boomer Band, is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by Epic Games director <laughs> Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the express purpose of inflicting pain upon the Gaijin. In this adventure, you play boy. as the famous Vidale Games protagonist Elden John <laughs> as he undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This game is a, a little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. A little difficult a little and kill god this game is a, a little difficult you could call it the dark souls of skyrim as such many challenges await the player and most of it is the work of satan as is every game made by the japanese spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than africa we will find many secrets uncover many attractions and slay the entire cast of the bible i've always liked that book my favorite part was the genocide <laughs> My man boxing everybody up. Oh, no, keep, 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 keep. What the dog doing? What is he doing? <laughs> God freed. All right. Help me. That, that's what I was saying when I was playing, boy. I have so enough we potions. the game and up. Oh, uh, silly me. I forgot to unplug the keyboard so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my character. Our journey begins inside of the Microsoft Some PowerPoint, sort of the quality of which being so <laughs> dubious that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Of course, this is a FromSoft game, so Spider-Man is here to send us the fuck back. To our tutorial, which is a whole, a whole lot of fun. You know, just making friends, influencing people, and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life. And with that problem sorted, it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. Welcome everyone see, to Lim- that whole thing about fighting them things in the cave, I ain't see none of that. I went straight to the elevator. Walked right into this open world, started getting boxed up. Grave, land of trees, laborious bears <laughs> upon the trees, <laughs> and Boss this white person. Me me if you're lost, you. how about you start by finding some bitches oh! on the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're lost- I know! That's not my mans, alright? Oh, this is a W. Oh, this is- we, we got the Dreamcast coming. Alright, get it, Dreamcast games, you know- Bars. How about you start by finding <laughs> some bitches? Stupid weeaboo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Look, what I'm trying to say is, your fit is mid. And you get zero bitches. <laughs> Fuck out of my sight before I gotta look at those stank ass vans again. As per the words of our friendly associate, we proceed towards Man, the castle in search of some bitches. In Dark Souls, we sought after the Dark Soul. And in Bloodborne, we in search of some bitches. In Dark Souls, we sought after the Dark Soul. The African American. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, and in Bloodborne, <laughs> we tried to escape Britain. But for Elden Ring, our objective is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic. You this cannot level game up I until get you get with. a girl boss. So with nothing else to do, I guess we'll All have right, to fight good. this tutorial boss. I, uh, he's a, he's a little like, uh, this tutorial is on how to flee in fear and, uh, use nice. geometry. Proceeding to the next <laughs> batch of enemies, we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Nooper, at know which you point they form a violence committee. Hmm. Game over. Try finger, but hold. Some 
bitch. What the fuck? My name is Melatonin. <laughs> and if I may inquire, <laughs> sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style so that I may make him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod on the planet. Every what? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great Queen Marinara who pissed off God so badly Cleveland, that he Ohio left is a the crazy fucking place universe. Be. Now her power, the Amazon gift card, is shattered and her athletic scions are holding a contest to see who can die the least. So God go, comes boy. back when I kill them. No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces of evil who have all claimed a shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after countless weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve one final victory royale. Okay. I Jake like a Minecraft Paul, uh, bastard. Did I just say Minecraft Fortnite reference. Okay, Jake Paul done won a couple of a couple of boxing matches. Now y'all want to call him the final boss in Elden Ring, All right? I approve. Of the Badlands, <laughs> the ever wet skelly sleeper, the crazy car car consumer, and least of all, you. The car car consumer? Warrior. Is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you that to my dimensional name, pocket. Bro. I see. <laughs> cool. The metaverse. Welcome to the Round Table Hold, a place to rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. I'm in hell. Now, as for our comprehensible friends, we could begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little busy right now. So that only leaves one more person, Fia, the deathbed companion, unique among all women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay Man, reasons, please. but what I wasn't aware of was that this one right action permanently time, debuffed my health, and I forgot to turn it off. For the entire game, the effect looks like this. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction, so what? it's time to head back. Jesus Christ, to Stormvale Castle, Is where that we really can find the first demigod on our list of all people. Our approach begins by moving through the gate. This is him. This is him. I walked down this pathway, got pieced in a major way. Two times. I said, yo, it's time for me to uninstall this game. Our approach begins with a battle against the <laughs> lag beast, but honestly, after that, the level is pretty easy. All right, finally a cutscene. God damn it. In search of the hose. Unfortunately, oh. I hate women. That sounds like a you problem, Chief. I am also homophobic. <laughs> My man is the leader and of the He Man are Woman Hater pretty Club. pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, Max, or welcome to the first boss. I'm a pioneer. I'm an explorer. He's yeah, getting the he's mixes. A bit, uh, yeah. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher is a very strong, very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He combines delayed attacks, crazy combos, and eventually the hammer of God, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, take the hint and leave. It. Fortunately for us, young Sheldon Ring is a game with all kinds of activities to prepare and unwind. You know, like killing the fucking dragon, which for some reason is easier, just not too much easier. For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and, uh, whatever that is. Greetings, traveler. I am the pit bull oh, of man, the woods. Oh, man, now you're fighting uh, the great you see any orphanages nearby? Why are you asking me that? No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's uh, a well containing the tastiest children. Okay. Go there, traveler, and I will kill the infants of your choice. The tastiest, what in the EDP? Is this man on right now, all right? Now, if he pull a cupcake out his back pocket, all right, we must arrest this thing. All right, we got to. Okay, this might seem bad, but I know a good Dave deal when good. I see one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am blind. 
Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So to keep things short, this forest is watched over by the spirit of a gentle stag and my immediate impulse is to kill it. This necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove or more accurately, sprinting between them while enduring the trials of free acupuncture meets Markiplier jump scare. That is not a sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and uh, Mr. Krabs. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my life, Life, we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave. And as it turns out, Bambi is back from the woods and they had a chill. My man out here fighting like a mega fight. move. He shows me how bad I am at the video game and uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006. Overall, it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals. 10 out of PETA. <laughs> you don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave to the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get into that, we've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. These include fighting the sapient tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of the game, and also the, uh, the bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains the rarest of all loot, a woman who tells us the tale of Castle Morn, a fortress that made the, the grievous mistake of Fest 2022 in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten Chimera, and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war, and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Fortunately, just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented war. Hold up. Who, who, who picture did they just show? Fortunately, I just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. That's tough. That's, that's that's tough. They haven't invented war crimes yet. I uh, like this level actually. It's pretty short, just like this video. My favorite detail is that they gave. Okay, look. Let me let me I, tell uh, you. I like this level actually. It's pretty short, just like this. Look at the look at these edits. I I gotta give my man a like. Gotta yes. We gotta give him a yes, sir. It's lit in the comments. My man's the derbs. It. It's, it's no more I could do. All right. Look at this. It's hard work right here. This video, my favorite detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're Happy climbing back good. into Harambe's cage and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones Smack. to sand, this fight is actually easy. <laughs> mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not That's face it. the consequences. Enjoy this while you can, because we- Fuck, because we've got a few more people to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a fair warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, as well as speaking to the sentient jar, which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. So after quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east to an industrious Jar -Jar. land known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little bit off the beaten Gary, path Indiana. with this one, but I'm, I'm pretty I'm confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? What the fuck is that? Oh no. Oh god. Let's go back to the castle. This time I I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margaret is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margaret, more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. And Emphasis this is the first on the patience. Boss? But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians to squeeze out the narrowest of victories. Just to watch out for the hammer. Really glad we could beat the first boss up uh, nine minutes into that the video. Is nuts. Welcome everyone to Stormvale Castle, realm of the first demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't get to him in 20 minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, we take the side route across the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese oh, no, chemical good. factory. So after cracking open That's a cold great. one with the boys, we ascend okay. the political compass until I have authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds, and uh, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Curdle. 
Mom I'm trying grow. to sneak around, but the clamp Mom of my cakes. ass cheeks keeps the rain going. All right, it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is get through the um. He's quite the uh, handyman who knows how to work with his hands. You that's could say he's from, quite like, the handful. That's the thing that you lose to in the beginning, right? Better use this door to uh, keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. <laughs> I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, Jay was it good, was my boy. a Monday. And I hate Mondays. Pizza delivery nice. for uh, Garfield. It's called lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand, you know, with making the pizzas. Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through? All right, look, my man got mad hands. And all I'm saying is, it's other talents he could do. I heard of the double-handed gawk gawk. Never heard of the eight-handed gawk gawk. All right, so... You need a new profession, my brother. <laughs> to make that joke. In this battle against Godric the Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking mass grave Angelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi 1987 and then sewed the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They call him William Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is subpar since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you and it's quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means Woo! you have to pay attention to his arm carefully, and that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm finding it uh, pretty hard to keep track of him. He seems to morph around when I... <laughs> so we fight him slowly and with attrition, like the that Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and <laughs> dying until eventually reaching the, uh... The, uh... Oh. He cut his own hand off? Oh, God. I guess he didn't need a hand. So to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Skyrim. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want. Welcome to phase two, bitch. He cut off his hand and put a dragon on it. Nah, bruh. See, I'm, I know I told y'all I'll play this. I might be taking that statement back. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> This is the best game slain. ever made. Harry Potter and all uh, that's the round table hold my like that favorite title. location there's really <laughs> nothing else like it in the realm of physical science speaking of which it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me let's fix that without going to Los Angeles hey hey people oh god it is I the lore man okay you got Seth in the video too hold on bro hold on it's like the Avengers came together for this video do you know where the that's why I'm gonna put the title last, man. Bathroom is. My IQ <laughs> is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just talk to, uh. The two fingers. Uh. The fingers. This is worse. Let's, uh, come back to that eventually. Oh. Uh. I guess I'm stuck here. Five fingers. Congratulations, we've made it past the first demigod out of six and a half. I'm sure his subjects will remember him fondly. Remember all those adventures we had together, all those places we've been. That was, uh, 10% of the map. I'll probably finish these videos in a nursing home. This is the rest <laughs> of the game, and wow. I better call Gandalf for that shit, because we've got a ways to walk. Welcome, everyone, to Ligma of the Lakes, the largest swamp that Miyazaki was allowed to build. 30,000 men have already died. And on today's episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents, Ranala of the Red Lobster, Queen of Caria, for at least the next 10 minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. And to get there, we need to head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. It is here that we face our greatest challenge, 
the fucking shrimp. I'm starting to think that PETA has a, has a point. So anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the Octo Sketty, and get completely sidetracked until I end up in fucking Nipton. But, uh, we're gonna what? skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Just know that you can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through the ruins of my marriage and killing the white people, we make it to the Hogwarts only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. And next to it lies a map which leads straight to the key. The security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This game has a lot of dragons in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. So now that we've broken into magical racism land, it's time to enact our revenge upon Chris Angel Mind Freak in one of the most pretty good-ish dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies such as the Spastic Child, this man 30 times in a row, and a homeless guy who helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario is a fa <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. Now I'm no interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we drive past. Ohio as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog doing? Not even the, ball. the answer is stabbing me. This is one hecking speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive which destroyed this video. The last minute of footage was reconstructed from memory, but besides that, his moveset is varied and intense, requiring expert evasion or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's just covered in chocolate. Oh, that's good. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. <laughs> so before we take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may no longer appear fatherless. Now on our search for a classroom that can't be raided, we head up the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become sidetracked again as I am teleported straight to the turtle pope who wants to sell me things. His existence isn't explained and I don't want it to be. Only horror lurks behind that stair. Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. <laughs> I can't believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I said less disturbing. What is up guys and welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool man. Today we're okay. going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh, oh I told y'all some... Some type of EDP was going on in this video, all right? This is where that uh, thing was looking for. Oh, oh boy. Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest 2002 twos. That's right, this is an American school after all. And in this battle, we're going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say, and hopefully it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy, like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating heart. This is accurate. In fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point Renala basically lets you go to town. The reason for this is that we aren't fighting a demigod. This this is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kinda feel like I'm doing him a favor. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy four, What the four, four, fuck? Five, and about like 30 I told you, bro. Come on, look. I, I call it like I see it, bro. This man, EDP, was waiting, lurking in the shadows, boy. To 45 minutes ago, <laughs> I beat the fuck out of my dick so goddamn uh... That I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg has been totally numb. Yo, if you spank your weenie, all right, so bad that your leg goes limp, <laughs> please go outside, all right. Please get some some vitamin D, all right, so you can stop beating your D, okay. And now I heard of this boss, all right. I seen somebody lose sixty some times to this boss. I guess there's a phase two. Oh no, it's not. This one. 
<laughs> Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy for Dark Souls, which means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susquindlin if he slash them were a good boss, using a vast array of magic, other bosses, and the power of Goku to socially distance your skull from your neck. But even still, it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing might tell Somebody you something about how I did. 70% of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, and God damn it. subscribe so we can take this video to the moon. <laughs> So after sufficient damage is dealt, we find out that her second phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including, of course, this bastard again Lydia. and the actual yeah, straight-up pack of wolves. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there goes the camera. That's tough. I fucking hate right this there. place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do I go next? Caleb. What? You must continue your adventure in Caleb. Uh, Is that a problem? No, not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Caleb. Hey guys, needs McTherapy here. Today we're going to be playing in a Tim Burton land. Welcome Whoop. to Kaelin. It's basically made of German bedtime stories. Who can forget <laughs> such a legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bachpfeifen Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinderschredder. I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today's episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent, we are invited to a festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my Club Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main Castle where Captain every year he throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstolen car. So we ride, <laughs> vaguely and in some direction, encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and the locking myself in the uh, dungeon. The other kids laughed at me, they called me Jizzy Johnson, but now it is like I that. who is laughing at them. Oh cool, it's a it's another dragon, and this one is a quite the special encounter because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything, otherwise he uh decouples his existence. Hey what's up guys? Maxor here, and today we're gonna well, be gaming like on the moon w because that's what this shit feels like. In fact, I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow, and I filled it with, you guessed it, an obscene quantity of dragons. Because truly we have not fought enough of them. I don't uh wanna be here anymore. Let's put this in the future episode box. So far, we've seen a lot of traumatizing things. Enough to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Get that Metal Gear character. My man uh, did, did his little simo stance, tooted up in the air, dispatch him from the game. Rest, but I've been saving the best for last. And by best, I mean the most evil game design ever conceptualized. The Swamp of Aeonia lies Wait, just good? within the center of Caitlyn and contains enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. This region, and pretty much all of Caitlyn, but mostly this fucking abomination, is infested with Scarlet Rot, which is like poison if it was made of radium. And get this, it's spreading. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation because an NPC just invades you in the middle of the swamp. It's like I can hear the dulcet tones of the game director laugh at me for your crimes what? I'm sending you to the moon this place is filled with all kinds of new and interesting ways to die and oh my, my favorite God. lies at the center of the swamp where we can find commander O'Neill and his Bostonian Kennedy mafia surprisingly enough this is the only thing here that can't kill me his moveset is so simple it's Amish accessible you could build a barn around him in the time it takes for him to do damage maybe this boss would be better with a second phase one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes me until I'm gravel but you know that's just a theory a game theory thanks for watching also he um, drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. You're a horse, right? We're in a uh, red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaelin is the actual level. Do you even know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're a big fan of cats, such as life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two attendants in total, and, uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find- Bruh, quiz cuisines was bangers what 
Man, back in the days, boy. Those children I talked about. Too bad we was too broke for kids' cuisine. We was eating banquet dinners, boy. What you know about it, all right? If you are a real OG to the struggle, all right, and you eat banquet dinners, which one is the best, all right? Second question, chicken or turkey pot pie? I'm going to see who real out here, all right? Mode. Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughterfest 2022. No. Shame. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit of. We said called Jad Jam Pinks. We said your humble son. Okay, never mind. So, in a stroke of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via YouTube oh, Rewind that Radon is not here. Technically, you see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. His consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Melania, who is the Blade of Mikola, by the way. But that is a story for later. Essentially, his mind was eaten by the Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed smithrently. Let's, uh, go start the mercy killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim and today we're doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute <laughs> unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and if they die then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially converted the game into an RTS. Gotta fight Raid Boss Radon in World of Employee Harassment. Now you can fight him alone as a real Gamer. But why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having sex by Thanks. myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions. This man put John F. Kennedy. Lord have mercy. On the internet and firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. If you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing wider than American elections and hit harder than a freight train on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Chiquale Onale. This is because, in addition to being built like a steel mill, Radon has the power to defy gravity, which constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies. This man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radon is an absolute god among chads, and this fight's intensity lives up to That's that real. and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um... Uh... Jumps into the upper atmosphere. A man jumped and turned himself into a comet. Jesus Christ, he is a three thick one. guys down, three and a half left to go. All right. Oh God, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure to <laughs> negatively affect the trout population. Won't someone please think about the economy? I need this song, man. Yo, where is it? I need I need it. I need it. Look, Max Sordon gave us part one of an incorrect summary of Elden Ring. Uh, but if I had to summarize this whole video up, I'ma say I'm not re-downloading this game, bro. Y'all, y'all want to see me in agonizing mental pain. Alright, on the stream. I don't know if I'm willing to put myself through that, you know what I'm saying? But but I said I would, so we're gonna try again. If I if I lose during the tutorial, I'm never coming back. Alright. But y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Until the next time I see we do. Look look chat, look over there at that comment. We do. Y'all y'all wanna see me get destroyed. Rage. Lose my mind. Thought we was friends. Peace. Yeah, nigga, I was broke. I ain't have a penny. I was ready, kick a dope. Lay your ass on the floor. Taking everything about this bitch before I go. Niggas talking on.
all that gang gang when the sugar puppet through their main vein. Swerve on them like a lane change. Fuck with youngin' cause we on the same thing. Granny died, it was quarter to five. 